Hi, my name is Brent Thorson and I am with Eikhoff Columbaria. We are a columbarium company that has been in business for about 30 years and we're here at the 2015 Cana Convention uh, displaying some of our new ideas and this right here is actually one of them. Uh, it's called the Pre-Assembled Ossuarium. So it's actually, the idea is columbaria and ossuary together in one unit. So uh, everyone knows what a columbarium is. No, nope, maybe not. Tell well, me what a... A columbarium <laughs> is a typical structure, monument structure, that includes niches uh, for the, the holding of urns. So pretty, pretty standard. Uh, it's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. The ossuary uh, has been around a while, but in America really is just starting to kind of gain more popularity. And the ossuary is a community type of burial. So the idea with this is these units have an inner concrete core. You can see here there's a hollow core on the inside. And people can either choose a traditional niche for their urn, or we have an inner concrete core that puts our, our new satin urns, which I'll show you in a little bit here. But mm -hmm. uh, And then people are memorialized on the granite band here. You see this is the Eikhoff Memorial Band. Those so those on the inside. Those would be the names of the people whose remains are dropped in the on the in inside. interior, yep, okay. in the ossuary. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the names uh, for the people purchasing the niche are etched onto the, the front of the, the niche. Much like you see here, you know, we have some examples. This would be an engraving on the front of a niche, and then this would be more of the style that people who are placed in the ossuary would okay. paint memorialize that way. So let's look at this monument over here. Yeah, so this is another, uh, we basically have, have utilized all of our existing columbarium that we do, we've been doing for many years, uh, and, and sort of offering it as an ossuary as well. We still do the traditional columbarium, but we're offering it as an ossuary too. And this one in particular is, is rather unique in that it uh, offers room for about approximately 900 people in one monument, which wow. is unique to the world of, of cemeteries. And the, you see here that there's a vault underground, and that has room for about 850 of our new satin urns. And people that are placed in the below ground option are memorialized on the side of the monument. So you can see the, the names there. And then there are still traditional niches for sale above ground. So this looks so. like a, uh, what do you call a, not a pyramid, a... Uh, An obelisk. Obelisk, yeah, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Obelisk, yep. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's kind of a, okay. it's a sort of throwback. Mm -hmm. A lot of cemeteries have obelisks. They've been popular mm -hmm. since the 1800s, since mm -hmm. cemeteries first came about in America. So we think that it's kind of neat that we use this as a... A forward-thinking monument in some ways. Mm -hmm. So, so it's got this but, little door in it that you would yeah. put the cremated remains in. That's right. Yeah, and you'll see some of the pictures down here. It's kind of hard to see, maybe, but if you get close enough, this is one of our fabric urns. Not only does this access point make it easy for a grade side service, you can see the the satin urn is just placed right on the shelf, and then once the the door access door is open the urn is dropped right down below into the ossuary vault. You know, one unique thing about this option that we've been kind of surprised about is people uh, talking about that final drop. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very final movement uh, with, with that way of memorializing. You know, with an urn, the, really the final, the finality of it is the closing of the niche. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we think it's, it's also a very spiritual and, and neat way to memorialize people. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and here you have these satin bags? Yeah, so these are, these are called our satin urns. And we developed this as an idea because, you know, traditionally ossuaries uh, are, are usually co-mingled cremated remains. And so we thought, what better way to personalize this but also keep the remains separate. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is that the person, if they're a doctor, you know, you can see here some different logos, uh, or they're a gardener, or they were in the service. You can still personalize these, these satin urns many, many different ways. So. so you offer those as well? We do, yep, yep. And that obviously correlates with this monument. And you know, you don't have to use them. You could mm -hmm. use this as an ossuary where you do commingle the cremains, but uh, the idea 
for us is we just we think this is a, a unique thing to include with it. Uh, and we have this on our website. You can order these right directly from our website. We have a web store and everything.